How do you do, my friends, everywhere abundant, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls and children? Because these things should have some stir for the curiosity of the young. I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. And you will remember that we encountered the remarkable adventure of the tin can that was squeezed by the push of the air. Now, the stopper is still in, and I want to show you a wonderful thing yet still with this collapsed sick can. I'm going to try to extract the stopper. It is firmly lodged. Why? The pressure in the can is much less than atmospheric, and the atmosphere is pushing that stopper in with a firmness untold. But I'll get it loose, and you listen when I do, because something wonderful is to be heard. Wonderful to be heard. Yes, you heard a poof. And some have said the vacuum was rushing out. Oh, no, 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 no. The air was rushing in. And if we looked at that very sharply, we, w we would have seen it expand a little bit. So the properties of the air are incredibly great. Coming back now to Mr. Hook, the anagram. So that people could not steal the idea of the law of the spring. And now I'm going to translate that for you. Ut tensio sic vis. As the extension, so the force. Meaning this, looking at the spring again, if I put one pound on it, it stretches, say, one inch. If I put two pounds on it, it stretches two inches. If I put three pounds on it, it stretches three inches, und so weiter. And that's the principle of the scale that weighs things. Now, while we are on it, I want to show you a more remarkable property of the loaded spring. Supposing I put this weight on it, which is 200 grams. The spring is extended so much, and if I displace it from its equilibrium, it oscillates with a certain frequency and a certain period. If I put more load on it, more load, it is extended more, and it oscillates with a slower frequency, a longer period. And I say that motion is wonderful to witness. And that motion is called simple harmonic motion, and it has great virtue for the affairs of humankind the motion of the loaded spring. For those who want to pursue the matter further, let me write on the board the law to which, that is the scientific physical law, to which the spring subscribes in this motion. The period of the motion, that is the time for one complete trip from here to there, one complete... The time is given by the following mathematics. 2 pi times the square root of m over k. Now, for those who know some physics, and for the professors who may be watching me, they would be led to say, oh, that professor is a little slippery. That is not quite right. He should add one-third the mass of the spring to which I yield and I have therefore written it now correctly for those who would otherwise be troubled by the inaccuracy of it. The motion of a loaded spring. Now I say that is musical. That is dramatic. That is pretty. And you must learn to consider such things dramatic and pretty and nice. It is so. Now, I wish to go back to some time before where I engaged you in a bouncing ball and more of this when we meet again. Thank you for watching.